Well, a big high ball hello to all the model railroaders and rail fans out there, and welcome to July 2022's edition of the Central Division. Hey, I tell you, I hope everyone's staying cool out here. I know in Arkansas land, uh, the temperatures have just been, you know, brutal, um, and doesn't look like there's any end in sight, but it's a good excuse to stay inside where you have air conditioning and to work on the model railroad. Uh, I tell you, I think it's been a couple of months since I've done an update, and uh, I know last month I put out a how-to video. Of course, that takes a lot of time to do that, so I couldn't do the how-to video and um, an update segment. Uh, and the how-to video was on uh, the realistic painting and weathering of bricks, so if you haven't seen that yet, uh, I would encourage you to do that. Uh, and that video also go in how to do you know, a ghost sign using stencil. Uh, something uh, might be useful to some of the model railroaders out there. I um, also did, uh, I'm calling it video shorts, and I've put one video out so far, and these are, you know, five, I think this one's like five minutes. Um, I wouldn't do one any longer, probably six or seven minutes. Uh, and they're just, you know, like the, this one was uh, just, you know, a video of watching, you know, the, the trains run, introduce the, the two new SD40-2s uh, that I recently purchased. And it got a lot of good feedback uh, from that, and which tells me, you know, people just like watching the trains run. So. Um, keep an eye on them. We'll have uh, some more of these, you know, video shorts uh, between the main segments and the how-to videos and things like that. So uh, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to, you know, kind of get you updated uh, on what I've done. And I will tell you, uh, there's going to be uh, two videos that are coming out at the same time. Uh, one is going to be, you know, an update on what's going on the, on the layout. And the other I'm calling um, sort of my, my chill out model railroad video. And I got this idea from another modeler, and I'm putting his information, his link to his YouTube page uh, down below. Uh, he's just a phenomenal model, um, just real beautiful stuff. And he put out a video just showing, you know, I think it was like 20 minutes of just trains running around his layout, some just really nice kind of, you know, just some just chill out music. I thought, man, what a cool idea. So I'm also going to put a, a video uh, out uh, uh, similar to that uh, about, you know, just have my trains running around and have some nice chill music and everything, just kind of relax and watch the trains. Uh, and so definitely we get some feedback on that, you know, whether you like it, you don't like it, um, you know, just, just kind of let me know. And of course, with any of the, the videos and updates and things I do, you know, if you have any comments or questions or anything like that, you know, be, be sure to put them down in those comment sections, you know, I'd, I'd love to hear from you. So uh, in any case, uh, I'm going to start showing you what I've done and get you caught up in the last couple of months. So here we go. Well, one of the projects I've completed since talking with you last is the addition of a second staging track. And here you see a, a map of the layout and that track in red, and there's a red arrow pointing to it. That's part of the main that also doubles as hidden staging. So once the scenery is in, that section of track is going to be hidden by, you know, uh, tall hills and trees and things like that. So it looks like the train is kind of, you know, coming from the imaginary world. Now I had the room and what I realized is having a second staging track uh, one that wasn't blocking the main would be, you know, very useful. So where the red arrows there is where the new staging uh, was installed, and I was able to get 18 feet of staging in there, which allows me to run uh, through freights, or I can have uh, two shorter freights on there. But it's really going to add um, some, you know, fun in different scenarios uh, on the layout that I wasn't able to do before. Okay, so as I swing the camera to the right. The track closest to the wall there, uh, that is the new 18-foot staging track. And originally, that was the industry spur for the Southwest Publishing Company. And I'm just going to move that industry to just another area on the layout. Now, the track that you saw, it had the cars and cabooses there. That was the main line. Um, that will also continue to serve as hidden staging when the main line goes, you know, behind the trees and the hills there. So it's going to give me, uh, you know, two complete areas where I can stage my trains. Now, on the end of that new staging, um, you see here I'm being very cautious because I just, I have that fear of just cars and locomotives just kind of going over the edge there. So, uh, these are just stuck in there now, but once it's all said and done, they're going to be super glued in. So, one of the projects I'm working on to complete is the building of the Arkansas Coffin Company. And the actual structure is in Fort Smith, Arkansas. This is uh, not a, a replica, but sort of a representation of the building that's up there. Now, the company went out of business in the late 80s, but the building itself is still there, and you can still see that old Arkansas Coffin Company sign on the outside. It's, it's really a cool old structure. And I'm pretty close to, I won't say being done, but uh, I would call it, you know, 
being at the good enough stage where I can have it on the layout. Um, there's a few minor detail things that I'll go back and, and do later, such as you know adding electrical junction boxes and stuff, kind of rainy day projects. But I'm really getting near you know where I can get this on the layout. Now, one of the things uh, I did on this building, a material I've never used before, on the actual structure they have, um, it's I guess it's some type of material that's uh, on the windows that diffuses the light and heat. And so what I did to recreate that is I used vellum paper. I've never uh, used that material before on a structure. Uh, and this is the, the vellum paper. It's, uh, it's the thick stuff that you can actually print on. Kind of has a consistency of real thin plastic. Um, but it, as you see here, it came out looking really good. It looks very close to that materials on the, the actual building uh, in Fort Smith, Arkansas. So I haven't ignored uh, scenery completely since I talked with you last. Uh, there you see where the new road is going in, and here you see I've got the base material down uh, for it's going to be kind of like a, a forest uh, scene slash uh, view block once it's all said and done. Okay, well you've seen, you know, I've, I've kept busy on, on the layout since the last time we talked and uh, working on structures. You know, it's model railroading is always something to do, right? That's kind of the fun part about the hobby. Hey, if this is the first time that you've visited the channel. Um, a very big welcome and invite you to check out some of the other videos I have out there. I mean, not only layout updates, but I've got uh, some how-to videos that you might find useful. And for those that have already subscribed to the channel, a big thank you. As I say with every episode, I uh, just absolutely mean this. You're the ones that keep me you know, moving forward, keep me motivated. So absolutely appreciate that. Hey, we're going to keep this update kind of short uh, because as I said before, I've got another video I want you to check out. And this one is just sort of the you know, watching the trains run and switching my layout has some some nice chill out music. I think you'll enjoy that. Hey, um, if you have any questions about this program uh, or comments or questions um, or just you know want to chat in, about model railroading in general, you know, be sure to use that comment section below. Uh, I check that. Uh, I read every one of them and I try to get back just as soon as I can. Otherwise, I'm wishing everyone happy model railroading and highball. <laughs>